The challenge was to recreate this effect. What? The problem was the how. Not gonna lie, I did get the gears turned to try to figure it out. And the more I looked at the effect, the more it looked like he used one of those TikTok like Instagram filters that animate photos, but we're doing something completely different today. I'm pretty sure I used a planner tracking note on the channel before, but I used it in my last project quite a few times. Now I'll show you the steps I went through to create this effect. So on my timeline, I have two clips. This is actually a stock footage clip, but well, both of them are stock footage. This here is just a clip I rotoscoped and that rendered out with an alpha background. I'm going to my effects panel, open effects, and I'm gonna scroll down to the effect stylization. From here, I'm looking for the watercolor effect. Now this part is not 100% necessary. I just wanted my clip to look more or less look like graffiti, but you can't leave the clip as in, in its original state if you want to. So now I'm gonna drag in the watercolor effect. I'll go into the spectrum tab and I'm gonna turn up the smoothness to give it more of a cartoon-like feel. With both my clips selected, I hit Shift F on the keyboard and I'll go into Fusion. I'm gonna delete this merge node. Then I hit Control Space and type in Planner Tracker. The Planner Tracker comes on set the mask tools and I'll use those to create a mask. And I create the mask and just make it a simple box. In the Spectrum tab, I change Tracker to Hyper Point Area and I leave Respected as it is. And since I went to frame 190 to create my mask, I'm gonna go to Reference Time and hit Set. So it'll start tracking from this point forward once I hit Track to End. Now that it's done, I'm gonna go back and place my playhead in frame 190, and then I track back to start. Now that I have my tracking data, I change track to corner pin, then I'm gonna go back to frame 190 and place the corner pin. Now with my media tool, I'll take the output of it and connect it to the green input. Now I have my footage in the background. In the controller style with the media tool selected, I can select a transform node and I can increase the size, but I can only increase it as much as that corner pin box is. So if you wanna make it a little bit bigger, make your box a little bit bigger, then you can further change the size and things with the transform node. Now zoomed in, I'm gonna change the apply mode. So with the planet tracker selected, I'm gonna hit the drop down on the corner pin. I'll change the apply mode to overlay. That's the one I find to be more, more or less the best one. I also turn down the game, I apply a little bit more realism to it as well. If you want, you can leave it as normal and then just turn down the alpha gang. That more or less helps with it. It just more or less fades it out though. And if you go back and select transform one and then grab a color corrector, you can add a little bit of brightness and mess around with the contrast. Now, of course you see it's creating this like this white overlay. So go into options on the in the inspector tab of the color corrector and then check pre-divide post multiply. It will only apply the effects to the subject itself. If you want to make the colors a little bit more bright, you can turn up the saturation and just more or less tweak it to your liking. Now I'm gonna stick with the overlay and turn the game back up. It makes it a little dark, so using the color corrector, I just add a little more brightness. Honestly, this makes it look a little bit too realistic, you can't really see it, so I'm gonna turn up the contrast just so it can stand out a little bit better. Now zooming back out and I play the clip. As it pans over, you'll see my animation is playing in the background. Now as far as using the watercolor to give your subject that crayon kind of like color feel is not necessary in fact if you want to remove it this is the way you can do that i'm now back on the edit page if i right click and go to open in timeline it'll bring up my two clips just like any compound clip or maybe a next to clip if you're coming from uh, premiere pro i just click on the clip and go to inspect tab and under effects i can hit trash can delete the effect then i can go back to my original timeline so now back in the original timeline the clip is still there the tracking and everything is the same, it just no longer has the watercolor effect on it. Now do me a favor, leave a comment down below and let me know, is this an effect you may use in a project? And how close do you think I got to the original effect? If you're in need of additional help with your own projects, maybe want to show off your work, make sure you check out my Discord server. If you have any questions, drop in the need help session. I got it set to announcement, so it'll come to me and anyone else in the server, and someone can ask you a question and try to help you out. I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching on my website. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Until the next video, y'all be easy.